Hey guys, Grisha King here today with another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs, and there was a creepy cave noise. That's that's pleasant. Um, if you guys are looking at the screen right now, you will obviously notice what just happened to the laboratory stuff. I expanded my house. Ta-da! Laboratory area. Tons of new things. Yay! Science. Also. I cultivated a lot of eggs, and I realized why those ones can stack, and why those these Pachycephalosaurus ones wouldn't. It, oh, I was looking at the Zamites to see what kind of plant it was, because I wasn't sure. Anyway, I realized why those ones can stack, and that's because they're like dodo eggs, and you throw them. And I feel a little stupid for thinking it was just, they were just regular old eggs. But anyway, I did go on another mine, and for some, for once, we actually got more Jurassic Craft fossils than um. Revival fossils, which I thought was a little crazy. I mean, we always usually get more re revival than uh, dress craft, but guess things are changing. Anyway, also made two more of these culture vats. Um, we got two here. I don't know how many more have broken since last episode. Yeah, but this is the lab. Um, also, I cultivated up some more eggs, so we've got lots of stuff. And basically, um, oh, I also repaired a sword, and I want to show you something. I did find another village and desert temple, and I got, I've got three diamonds now. There we go, I'll just put them all together. So we can actually make a diamond pickaxe, which I'm very tempted to do. But I think we're gonna wait a little bit before we do that, at least until we get an enchant table. <gasps> Parasite Office 25%, Brachiosaurus 50. Let's see, what we got in here? Paleorafe. Now, actually, I've, I was testing out the Paleorafe, now, if you guys remember, excuse me, but, uh, what was, what was I gonna say? The Paleorapha that spawn naturally, we're having a lot of problems with leafs despawning and stuff. Now, I thought, oh, maybe that's just a glitch with, like, pre-spawned ones, so I was testing it out, and it does seem that it's just a problem with the leaves, not the logs, because, as you can see, I've got a ton of leaves here, they just don't stay. Which is rather disappointing, I think. I would, I really would have preferred if they stayed and stuff, and maybe just use different logs with them. But it doesn't really matter. Put them on their own, even, and it still doesn't work. Hips will off it on at 50%. Yeah, so we're probably not going to end up using many Paleographic. <gasps> Ankylosaurus and Ceratosaurus. Yes! We're getting tons of DNA now. I'm really excited to see an Ankylosaurus again. I like those guys. They're really cute. Oh, what was? Oh yeah, this is a hypsilophodon at 50. What's this? One? Yay, we can make a full-on hypsilophodon. So then I can finally show you a DNA combinator. Let's put those two in, and it'll go down here. And ding, 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 ding. 100% hypsilophodon DNA. Which we're gonna throw back in here until further notice. Coelacanth DNA. I don't think those coel the coelacanths for this mod spawn naturally. So that's about our first coelacanth. Um. Okay. Is that done? Is that done? And that's done. Okay. So you guys do remember I did ask for suggestions for what we should put in to the park first, and unfortunately I didn't get any, which I thought was kind of sad. But um. Anyway, I did. Since we didn't get any, I did build an enclosure, and the first animal that is going to get put in is the Revival Velociraptor, because I have pre-built his enclosure, and um, it's looking really good. Um, let's go show you guys that now. Um, yeah, let's go show you guys that. It's right over there, and it's looking pretty sick, I think. This is actually inspired semi by uh, an exhibit at the zoo I go to. Uh, I can't remember what the exhibit is exactly, but I remember there was one like this in the desert area. And here we go. This is the brand new Velociraptor enclosure. I did just realize, like, those leaves are almost the exact same color as the wood. A little crazy. Also, I hear, like, lava or something nearby. I'm not sure where it is, though. So. Speaking of that, I'm actually kind of getting hungry. Let's go grab some food real quick. I completely forgot to do that. Yeah, but um, anyway, I think I've decided for this park, we're going to do several different areas, and of them, I think what we're going to have is possibly five or so areas. We're going to have the forest, the swamp, 
the or maybe swamp will be combined with ocean or something so actually i guess it's more in basic level it will be like wait where's my cooked potatoes oh there they go it'll be um forest ocean desert plains so that'll be like the four sections of the park and the first one I think I'm going to work on will be desert because desert is going to be a very simple one to set up. And mainly because as far as I know I've been doing a bit of research into the animals of this mod and in real life not many of them lived in deserts. Velociraptor and Gallimimus did but as far as I can tell those are the only ones in the mod that did live in deserts. Here we go. Egg. And there we go, Velociraptor is getting ready to hatch. Now I do realize I don't really have a way out of the exhibit at the moment. I forgot to put ladders in because I was using this block to just jump in and out. But I think we should be good. Oh, speaking of that, also we, after we hatch this thing... Oh yeah, two things I guess son. After we hatch this thing, we will need a name for him, so in the comments will you guys please put a name for our new baby Velociraptor. Oh yeah, I can't get info yet. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see this. I mean, we've already seen the Velociraptor like a billion times, but I'm, I think this is the first time we've ever hatched one in a desert, so we'll see what color we got yet. Oh, also what do you guys think of like the palm trees I have to do? Like you can see, I did use oak leaves. I might switch them out to maybe birch or something, or just something entirely different to see how it looks. Maybe something less dark. But uh, yeah, I think they look okay. Oh, also, if you guys are wondering what this is, this is meant to be a bit of a shelter, I guess, for the raptors. I'm gonna put a different floor in here, maybe like oak wood planks or something like that. But some sort of floor in there, which I think should be pretty good. Let's see. Man, we've got a lot of dino DNA to put in. Also, as you guys might, can probably kind of tell considering this is episode five and we're just getting our first animal. This season we're going to try and take it much, much slower than any other season. Because each other season we've probably gotten dinosaurs by like, what, episode 3? And this time, episode 5. So I think we're probably going, I mean, this time I didn't really work on the exhibit on camera. I more built it off screen, but I showed you the layout of it. But um, for this one, but for more exhibits, I think we're going to try and build more of them on camera, come up with ideas and stuff, maybe do a couple more speed builds, because I haven't done one of those in... A very 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 long time and it's always I think cool to do a speed build for an exhibit so you guys can kind of see what it'll look like when it's finished and the raptor is about to hatch I do love a good velociraptor they're very cool dinosaurs I mean admittedly they aren't as cool as the ones from Draftcraft because those ones are really big and scary but these ones are pretty cute Whoa. Can you guys hear the music? When you watch this, I can promise I did not put that in editing. That's just playing. Hello, little guy. Speedy thief. Asia. Climate arid. Oh. Actually, this might be able to help because arid is um, kind of like deserty because obviously where I live, it's very arid. But, um, oh, it cuts my name in half. Darn you, game. But that music, guys, that was so cool. I didn't know it did that nowadays when you hatch dinosaurs. Let's look at this other. So he is obviously the default kind of brown velociraptor. But I think it looks very suited for this kind of environment. Very, very suited. Looks like he camouflaged well. Let's see, what other color? There's the green velociraptor. The blue velociraptor and the white raptor we don't know we've never gotten the blue raptor but i never really liked that one i thought it was a weird looking one but hello little fella you're very cute okay we better break that real quick before he hops up and i i didn't i know i didn't link the fences up but that's just because i thought it looked better without them linked um i might I'm actually thinking about putting like um, brown carpet on top as kind of like a leaning thing because I don't really want to use a half slab because those are too big. Where is he? Well, 
Wow. Oh, come on, little guy. I completely forgot about that feature that got added in. Um, that they, for some reason, follow you as, when they're babies. But until um, you hit, press them with a bone or something so that they stop following you, they will follow you. Completely forgot about that. I guess it kind of does make sense because, um, what was it? Oh, we think dinosaurs were a lot like birds, so they'll imprint on the first thing they see. And that would probably mean that they would follow them. So, I guess it does kind of make sense that the baby Velociraptors would follow you when they saw you for the first time. Burn, you mobs. Come on. Okay, oh! I remember last season, not last season, was it? It was season two, I think. These things stopped uh, striking lightning unless for some reason you got sharpness on them or something like that. Oh, I hate it when these things strike like me. They just burn down your entire enclosure sometimes. Bunzai! That's the nice thing about living in the desert, I guess, is that all the monsters will burn. Speaking of that, on to a precious little thing. On to a precious little velociraptor. Protecting me in that. Well, unfortunately, little guy, you gotta go. You do have to go back in your cage. Where are you? Okay. Oh, my chat is off. I completely forgot about that. Um, multiplayer. Yeah, my chat was off because I was playing mini games a lot last night with Aussie Man. So, kind of wanted the chat off so I could see. But anyway, let's look. So, I mean, I know the mod doesn't really, like, Minecraft doesn't care about having right-sized exhibits for the dinosaurs. Is he stuck? Oh, come on. Okay, I guess we're going back in to help him. Okay, you can move there. And I'm just gonna leave again. But, um, yeah, anyway, Minecraft doesn't care about having accurately sized exhibits, but for me, I feel like an exhibit, at least of the size it is right now, is probably only big enough for maybe three Velociraptors at most, three, four. Cause I mean, I mean, they don't get tremendously big, but they do get fairly good sized. And actually, I just realized we've put raptors in now, so as far as I know, the Galmimus is the only other desert dinosaur. I I was doing a bit of research before the episode started, and I think it, um, I was reading off that Dilophosaurus may have lived in deserts. It basically just lived anywhere near a good source of water or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm going to look more into where the climates that the animals would have lived in. Like, I, I was actually tempted, I am kind of tempted to put in one of the Ankylosaurus species, either the Jurassic Craft one or the Revival one, in the desert because I kind of want to pretend it, and it's just like a Tarkia, which is a Mongolian species of Ankylosaur that looked a lot like Ankylosaurus. But anyway, where was I looking at? It, th what's going to be the next animal I was going to add in, which is probably going to be Gallimimus. We're going to add in the Gallimimuses next, both of them. So, actually, I should have a ton of fences somewhere. Shouldn't I? Okay, we've got 48. That's not going to be enough, but I've got another, I've got, okay, good. Also, I forgot about the Paleorathae wood I can use for sticks as well. Because... I'm honestly not the biggest fan of how it looks. It looks really weird, I think. But there we go. Lots of sticks, and we will make some more fences out of this. That's honestly one of the things that annoyed me so much about um, 1.8 was the new crafting recipe for fences. Because, I mean, fences is in are pretty cheap, You like in this version of Minecraft, any version besides 1.8, they're really cheap and they're very cheap to make. Just make a ton of sticks and boom, you got stacks of fences. Like I've got two stacks now. But in 1.8, you also have to use two, you only use two sticks and f 
four full pieces of wood. So it's basically a reverse gate. I mean, I do admit that that crafting recipe like, makes a lot more sense considering how a fence looks, but it's a little incon- not inconvenient, but it's a little more expensive to craft. Now I need to find a good area to make this Gallimimus enclosure, because Gallimimus is, I kind of want a bigger area, so maybe... I think that's what we'll probably do on uh, maybe each episode, I guess. Um, probably next episode we'll start working on the Gallimimus enclosure. So, yeah. This episode we'll probably just start lining out and I kind of like a basic area for it. And then we'll start working on the f actual fence. Because that's something I kind of want to figure out for this. It's not going to be dug in like the uh, Velociraptor cage is. This one I think is probably going to be at ground level. So maybe we'll have... I kind of like this dune we've got the raptor cage connected in. Too. So maybe we'll continue dune connected exhibits. Whoops. I don't have an axe, but I don't really need one right now. I could just break these with my fists. That music though, when the, I had the raptor was really cool. I almost want, I'm kind of trying to figure, well, well not try to figure out, but I'm kind of wondering, is that music that I'll play whenever you get a brand new dinosaur, or just like whenever you hatch a dinosaur, or was that just for the achievement that I got? Tell you what, we can try and connect it up to this dune here. Okay. So about there, that would be about the length of the enclosure. So obviously, probably most of the viewing areas for it would be from here to probably around the, the like where it goes up. Uh, probably where most of the viewing areas for the Gallimimus area is. And let's see. Where would it probably end? Well, we could probably go to the back of the dune here. Actually, let's break these. We just will know it ends at the back of the dune here somewhere. Because I want these Gallimimuses to have a good amount of room, because I plan on putting several in here. From both mods, obviously. Let's see, so it'll be kind of like... Um, maybe we'll extend it down to like here that's yeah, a lot of room I mean and we can probably decorate down here like with more of those custom built palm trees I made so where those palm trees can go in and stuff and yeah so the fence can probably go from there to there so this is a rather large area I mean we should be able to fit realistically we'd be able to fit probably like six or seven gallimimuses in here Actually, six would be a pretty good number, I think, of Gallimimuses, because then we can have about three from each mod. So we'll have three Jurassic Craft ones and three Revival ones. Which I think should be really cool. Actually, I'm trying to think right now, what color is the Gallimimus for the, of the desert? That's what I'm trying to remember. Um, we actually never got any desert Gallimimuses, I think, last. Have we gotten them before? All I remember our Gallimimuses ever being was green. Like, we've had... We, yeah, last season they were green. How many did we have last? I think we only had three. Huh. So, they're usually... The ones we've gotten are green. I think it's the brown... Reddish-brown Gallimimus you get in the desert. Is that the one, the one you get in the mountains? Well, speaking of that, I forgot to tell, say, I'm considering, like, like, probably by the next episode this will have happened already, but I'm going to have to try and add another story onto the house. So kind of like a new balcony or something, which will give us a really good view. Let's see. Chunks we load. Um, wait, 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 there we go. Oh, never mind, that didn't really help much. It'd be kind of cool if you could see the Gallimimuses from the house, I think. Well, we should be able to see the Velociraptors, at least. Um... 
yeah, I think we can end the episode here, probably. I mean, we did what we came to do. Pretty short, I guess, but eh, that's how the dinosaur videos usually are. Next one should be a bit longer because we will be building the full-on enclosure and hatching them. Actually, maybe we won't hatch them next episode. I'm not sure. We'll see what, how long it takes to build the exhibit because I'll have to come up with an idea off screen. Yeah, but there we go, guys. Our first dinosaur of the entire series of Velociraptor. And we need a name for him. So in the comments below, please leave suggestions for the name. Um, if there's any names that are suggested, have a chance to be picked. And... Uh, Maybe this season, for this season, I think maybe we'll do a shout out for anyone who, for, if your name gets picked, you will get a shout out, and, uh, yeah. Hello, Mr. Raptor. He's so cute. But, um, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, especially for this epic helmet and the brand new baby Velociraptor. And, um, until next time, peace.